Here we go, first penalty of the shootout to Stevenage, Effiong against McGilvery, and the big centre forward steps up and sends McGilvery the wrong way, waiting for him to dive in, just rolling at the other side and giving the lead to Stevenage. Well, that was a very nonchalant penalty, wasn't it? I actually thought he wasn't going to get there, he was going that slow, but he, he managed to. He just threw his left arm up, and I always found when I took penalties that if you throw an arm up just prior to getting to the ball, it does, it does set the keeper's uh, feet. John Marquis now to take the first penalty for Portsmouth. Here we go, Marquis with his right foot, McGilvery's being told to get out of the penalty area and off the pitch, and John Marquis with his right foot against Cumming. Marquis sends the keeper the wrong way, scoring. 1-1 one, one after two penalties taken. One penalty each. Second for Stevenage will be Charlie Carter. There was a bit of discussion between Craig McGilvery and the analyst before the shooter. I wonder how much, in fact I'm completely wrong there, it's Danny Newton who stepped forward. So Newton with his left foot is going to strike this for Stevenage. Straight at McGilvery and he saves. Craig McGilvery punches the air in delight. McGilvery gives first blood to Portsmouth. It's still 1-1 and now Ronan Curtis to step up. Yeah, he's gone with power there. And McGilvery guessed right, he's gone the right way. And just a reaction to, to get his hands up there. Decent penalty save. He's a very strong man, Craig McGilvery. He'd probably rather you try to beat him for pace than anything else. Ronan Curtis runs back to the edge of the area. Five-step run-up for Ronan Curtis and he scores! <laughs> Keeper went the right way, but he lifted the penalty and lifted the ball above the diving Jamie Cumming, who was going to his right. Well, that was taken with confidence, wasn't it? Brilliant penalty there from Ronan Curtis. It's gone. I mean, there's no way the keeper's saving that, even if he goes the right way. Great penalty. Elliot Osborne with number three for Stevenage. 2-1 to Portsmouth after two penalties each. It is Osborne against McGilvery. Osborne coming forward, right foot is saved by McGilvery, down to his right, a second save for the goalkeeper. Punches the air again with his left hand. Well, a fantastic save, really was. Telegraphed a little bit, but that still didn't. You can't take anything away from the athletic ability of McGilvery to get down to his right-hand side there. The ball was hit with immense pace, and it's such a strong wrist, and the ball's been pushed all the way out to the corner flag. And poor old Lee Brown's had to go and retrieve the ball as well, so at least he can steady himself. Forced to find ourselves with a healthy advantage now. I've just need some calm heads. Well, I've only ever seen Lee Brown take one type of penalty. Does he smash it, does he? Yes. He smashes it down the middle, usually. He's not going to try and precisely put this in the corner. Lee Brown, he's got a good left foot. It's a short run-up. Lee Brown steps up and drills it into the corner. It's a great penalty. And then he has some after words for the goalkeeper. And that means now Portsmouth have a 3-1 lead after three penalties each. So the scenario for Ben Coker is pretty simple. He must score or Portsmouth are into the second round. Coker must score against McGilvery or Portsmouth are through. The left-footed player, the fullback against McGilvery. Coker steps up, saved again! A hat-trick of save for Craig McGilvery and Portsmouth have won. 3-1 on penalties and it's the goalkeeper who came on at half-time who does the business for the Blues in the shootout. Portsmouth are through to the second round of the EFL Cup. They've beaten Stevenage 3-1 on penalties after it finished 3-3 at full-time.